You are part of one of the most attractive rock projects in the last years, Intelligent Music Project. Tell us more about it. Yes, um, it's a Bulgarian project uh, created by Dr. Milan Bravinsky, who is a medical doctor and he is the author of uh, the music and the lyrics. Um, uh, they have uh, five albums till now uh, and there is a sixth one coming up in March. And uh, it's a kind of um, all-star project, you can call it like that, because through the years uh, took part some great musicians like uh, Simon Phillips, Nathan East, um, Carl Sentence, John Payne, and now myself. What's the special of this project? Yeah, uh, yeah it has a lot of um, special things involved in all the project. Um, First of all is the music style, which is a kind of a progressive rock uh, with a lot of different elements uh, from many bands. Um, then obviously, um, you know, the, for me, the most important thing is the lyrics and the messages we are bringing to the listeners, uh, which are positive messages, which is not normal in the rock scene. Uh, and then the great musicians involved. Um, Besides the Bulgarian musicians in the band, they are great. Uh, uh, we have many great musicians, like uh, in the new album we will have Bobby Rondinelli from Rainbow and Black Sabbath on the drums or, or Todd Zuckerman from Stings. Could you compare the band to any other of the famous rock bands? As I said before, uh, there is a kind of a unique uh, music style on this project because it's the sum of many different influences and not just from the songwriting from Dr. Milan Bravinsky but uh, from the musicians we are playing as well uh, so you can compare it like uh, with bands like Rainbow uh, uh, even sometimes the Beatles and you have Toto and all those great bands like uh, you can hear in, in, in the songs. For how long are you part of the band and how everything happened? Uh, yeah, I, um, I took part like two years ago uh, when I got the call from, from Dr. Milan Bravinsky. Um, it, just, it just sent me a message uh, to ask me about a chance to work together and uh, he presented me the project and, and I got very curious and, and 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 you know the the possibility to to work together because for me it was pretty interesting uh, all the um, musical project so yeah two years already almost three um, and uh, two records. Why did you say yes to Intelligent Music Project? Uh, to me it was pretty clear from the beginning because. Um, I took this as a challenge in, in the way that um, is different from all the uh, rest of projects that I used to work with, uh, which they're more like, you know, into the heavy metal or the rock, hard rock music, uh, more simple stuff. Uh, so for me it was a challenge first to this, try to discover or realize if I can sing this kind of music more progressive and with a lot of different elements and uh, uh, and then obviously as I say at the beginning um, the meaning of the music why we're doing this and the message we are bringing to the listener uh, to me that's very important and, and, and in intelligent music, music project you can uh, you can see that uh, we have positive messages on the lyrics and we're bringing kind of a, uh, a little at least hope and, and, and joy to, to, to the people who is listening to our music. What is the atmosphere in the band? You are nine guys on stage. It's not the traditional lineup for a rock band. Yeah, the atmosphere is great. Uh, because we are not just uh, uh, great musicians involved in the, in the project and in the band, but nice people as well, which is very important to carry this positive messages. Uh, you need to match with 
with nice people and and we have all those elements in the band and and actually the people you can see it when we are playing live that we are we are we connect really good on a stage with all the musicians and every musicians put a little grain of sand on the global performance um, and then the people can see that and we are having fun uh, great times uh, on the shows uh, and, and that's a uh, very very important part of, of this project too. How did the band go through the pandemic? Yeah, suddenly you have time to uh, uh, when you are not touring to you, 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 you get a lot of time and uh, so we decided to work with, uh, yeah, with new music to work in a new album. Uh, the sixth album in the project, who is going to be um, released in March, and um, side of that, we were we were working in video clips and even online concerts, so the people can see that we are still working and and we can bring some fun online to to the fans. What are you planning next? The most important thing for us right now is the release of the new album, which is going to be released in March. It's the second album where I take part in the project. Um, obviously the release of the single of the album as well, uh, which is the song I Know. Uh, for the song I Know we shoot a video clip with, uh, with my fiancé Corina. We were having fun in Sofia with uh, with cars, uh, driving and, and and shooting a nice video clip, so the people are gonna uh, gonna see it and can see it in YouTube. Um, and then obviously to prepare a support tour for the release, uh, we're planning to to make some shows, obviously in Bulgaria, and then uh, go the around Europe the most that we can, and and for sure. Uh, taking part of show in, in, in Romania and Bucharest uh, pretty soon, so I um, really call the people in Romania and the fans to stay tuned about the date and, and the place who the concert is going to take part. Why do people should see you live on stage? Why? I mean, because uh, it's, um, it's a rock show, uh, a lot of uh, fun on stage positive messages, uh, great sound, great production, uh, great musician, musicianship involved, um, uh, not just uh, obviously my Bulgarian mates in the band, uh, for example Visser is a, is a great great guitar player, uh, I love to play with him, uh, the rest of the guys they are great, and then Bobby Randinelli from, from Black Sabbath and Rainbow is joining too, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, and a lot of emotions too, so I call the people to not to miss it. Thank you for the interview.